Alrighty, what's up everybody? So basically, let me just get a rundown. So basically I was on Exodus and I noticed Exodus now has a status icon which will tell you when they have they're having issues with the program and what may be stopping your payments, blah blah blah. Which is pretty good. Um it's a pretty nice feature because they're not gonna know like if I'm not receiving payments like why or on certain um coins why I'm not receiving payments for that coin, for instance, Augur. So you'll see why I said Augur first. Um so when you click on the status, it'll bring you to the Exodus status and it'll what page and it'll basically tell you um you know what's going on. So basically at the two PM Pacific time today, um Augur released a critical security vulnerability announcement and funds aren't at risk, but basically um Exodus had to put in place a migration that would basically update the um code that Augur is based on basically. So you guys will see what I mean in detail. Um they give you clickable links where you can go and find out more information about whatever that whatever issue they may be referring to that relates to Exodus or how it may affect Exodus. So with this one, with Augur, um separate compiler vulnerability, REP and uh solidity uh migration. Basically, um so Augur is written in Serpent and basically from what I read, base, they did a, a security audit with uh, Zeppelin Solutions, and it the Serpent compiler is just basically vulnerable to, um, it says it has a, a buffer overflow vulnerability, and it says this combined with Serpent's unenforced types and a bug in Serpent's computation of memory addresses caused a non-loss of funds vulnerability in the RAP token contract. The vulnerability allows someone to increase the token creation timestamp and definitely disabling transfers of the token. And I would click on Zeppelin's analysis, but I mean, I might still. I don't know. Um, over the past two weeks, Algon and Zeppelin have been working around the clock on a strategy to migrate RAP to a new secure contract. The new RAP contract is written in Solidity and is derived from Open Zeppelin's ERC-20 token contracts. Right now, we're copying all RAP balances to the new Solidity RAP contract. If you're an RAP holder, there's nothing you need to do. As soon as the RAP migration is complete, your RAP balance will be exactly as it was before the migration. The RAP migration shall only take a couple of hours if all goes well. And we notify exchanges, wallets, and block explorers on July 27, 2017 at 10 a.m. PST. Now, there, that is true because if you go back to um, their page, oh, hmm, if you guys can see, I don't think you guys can see it because they, after it's kind of been handled or dealt with by them, then they kind of gray it out. So. What's crazy is this is the issue I had right here. So, but this is back on July 14th. Let's just move up. Um, right here, where it says the Dash API server has been down, the Dash team is working on restoring assets. In the meantime, this means that sending receiving and exchanging Dash may have issues. And then they said the 28th, but then August said the 27th, they reached out to their meaning. Um, when the either scan post was posted by them. They really should have been talking about Augur. But um yeah. And I, I have noticed the whole parsing issue. Sometimes in Exodus it doesn't display like you have to rescan or it doesn't display the right amount. Even if you've had it in there for a minute. Um ooh. I like going up to went up, went up to a dollar twenty three unless it was supposed to do that. I don't know. I, um, let me see. Yes, I have a Craig, a Craig Grant background. Okay, his is cooler than Trayvon's. Okay, 
And low key, I kind of am sick of seeing Trayvon's logo. Um, just in general, because I watch him so much on YouTube, it kind of gets aggravating. So I was like, okay, Craig has some different, you know, feels to his. I was like, so his is pretty cool. Um, so yeah. I think this is going to be the end of this video. Um, I'm going to find some other vulnerabilities with other coins. I just didn't want to focus on all Bitcoin, honestly. I mean, it is a crypto channel, so I didn't want to just focus on just Bitcoin. And I know I do do that a lot because that's mostly what I use is nothing but Bitcoin and Dash and Litecoin. And the coins basically that you see here. Uh, I don't use Gnosis and I, I really barely use Ethereum. Um, I own some, but like I said, I, my main choices are Bitcoin, Dash, and Litecoin. So, um, you guys comment and just let me know what videos you want to see me do next or what coins or vulnerability in coins would you guys like to see me do? Because I know I like cybersecurity, but um, instead of having my channel be all over the place, I, I kind of like to focus on vulnerabilities within um, within certain coins. Um, so you guys just comment below and let me know what coins you guys would like me see go. You, you got ah, the type of coins that you guys would like to see me um, do. I guess vulnerability um, updates on. I guess. So all right, peace. Comment, like, subscribe.